so much for joining me here on this very special BBC presentation. Tonight we will be taking a fabulously vicarious foray into the voluptuous vesicles of video gaming. <laughs> yes, in the interest of better understanding this intriguing and immensely popular pastime, we will be meeting a variety of ambassadors from various gaming genres, all of whom have so kindly volunteered to briefly personify the truly defining aspects of their respective fields. Now, we will begin here with the first-person shooter genre, commonly characterized as the one where you shoot everything in sight with inhumanly massive firearms. However, <laughs> not all the first-person shooters involve this kind of rampant running and gunning. <laughs> Some of them actually require you to think. Uh, well, here, with us today, from a prime example of this type of thinking man's first-person shooter or strategy FPS, is Alpha Squad from the critically acclaimed counter-terrorism simulation Rainbow Six. Now, Alpha Leader, I hear you are about to begin an operation. That is correct, Neville. Today we will be showing you standard procedure for a room takedown when we have a confirmed hostage situation. Just as soon as Delta Squad is in position. Delta Squad, what is your status? Delta Squad, respond. Over. Oh, oh, you got lost on the way to the ops site. We just installed GPS navigation in the SWAT van. How could you? No, 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 don't even bother. We'll do it on our own. All right, gentlemen. Looks like we'll be going this one solo. Johnson, you take the point. Sanders, you cover me, boy. You cover me. You cover my back. All right. And I am going to set a breaching charge on the door. Beep. All right, gentlemen. Lock and look. Fire in the hole! Boom! Move in! Move, move, move! Alright, tango down. Area secure. Hostage, come with me, please. Oh, I'm saved! <laughs> Thank you very much, Alpha Leader. Very graphic demonstration. Very impressive. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, headshot. Uh, well, moving on to something a little bit more docile, uh, we come to the RPG, known in the gaming world as the role-playing game. Now, now, this kind of game basically allows a player to live the life of a fictional character, often in a world of wonder and fantasy and some very odd turn-based combat. Uh, now, here to demonstrate this intriguing genre is, uh, um, let's see if I can get this right, down from the mystical mountain, Ivan the Incredible? Is that right, Ivan? Yeah, yeah. Ivan the Terrible. You have to, the, you know, that. Yeah, never mind. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Neville. <laughs> uh, well, as you all can see, I am a level 76 wood elf. Eh? <laughs> and today I will be showing you how to kill a giant evil spider. Ah, the Pushna! There's one now! He's going to try to take my gold, but <laughs> I think Shing! My new enchanted broadsword will have something to say about that! <laughs> Alright, taste my steel! Cha! <laughs> 40 damage! <laughs> bet you didn't see that coming! <laughs> Alright, your turn. Ah! Ancestral 
Elvin nuclear missile. Ha! Beep. Flash. Boom. <laughs> Ten thousand damage. <laughs> oh, I do love the warm glow of nuclear radiation in the morning. <laughs> and I bet you have never seen a giant evil spider instantly vaporized by an ancestral level nuclear missile before. It's all in a day's work for a wood elf. If you'll excuse me, I need to get back to leveling up my character. Das vidanya, comrades. Fascinating! Moving on then. Well, we'll conclude with one of the only features that transcends all gaming genres. The ability for players to communicate with each other over the internet via microphone headsets. Huh? Now, thanks to this wonderful technology, gaming avatars become more than just empty shells with names over their heads. Players can hear the voices of their teammates, coordinate strategies, and create more personal connections with one another. Here to give us an example of the spirit of camaraderie are Jace and Dark Lord Malcolm of the IDYG clan. Now, they are in the middle of a quest right now, so let's listen in, shall we? Yeah, so Malcolm, just like, uh, go over there and hack away at him with your sword, and I'll fire arrows from over here. Whoosh! Direct hit, yeah! <laughs> Whoosh! Another hit, yeah! <laughs> yeah, so I was leveling up my girlfriend's character in EverQuest the other day, right? And she, like, totally hated the fact that I bumped up her strength instead of her agility, right? <laughs> and so I was like, come on, what's the matter with being able to knock a guy out with your pinky finger? <laughs> Isn't that cool? And she was like, oh my gosh, James, you just don't get it. And so I, hey, hey stupid head, can we go one quest without you talking about your girlfriend? Oh, dude, no good. All the hostility, man. <laughs> Why do you always have to get so angry whenever I talk about my girlfriend? <laughs> I mean, just because you're 12 and your mom won't let you date yet doesn't give you any reason to be all... Yeah, you know? Yeah. Can you just... No! Oh, I hate you! Yeah, I hate you too. Stupid head. <laughs> Come on, let's just finish killing this guy. Yeah, alright. Oh, wait, hold on. You what, Mom? Oh, oh right now? Uh, we're right about to kill the... Oh, alright. Hey, man. You'll have to finish this up. I've got to take out the trash and go to bed. See ya. Oh, yes, how, how unfortunate. It seems even, no matter how powerful one's game character may become, Mom is always more powerful. <laughs> oh, Don, it appears we're out of time. There's so much we weren't able to bring you today. Uh, puzzle games, card battling games, Bobby Horse Adventures. I, I know, it's a true shame, but they will simply have to wait until another time. Join us next week on the BBC as we examine the political ramifications of the Crimean War. Hope you've learned a little bit about video games tonight. I'm, as always, Neville Holloway. Good night. God save the Queen. And game over. <laughs>